Hi, this is Derek Jelinek from the Morgan's Healthcare team, here to update on our new addition to our Morgan's uh, Best Ideas list, Ansel, ticker ANN. This is a $5 billion market cap leading provider of protective equipment solutions. Um, Ansel has really benefited quite nicely from the co uh, coronavirus pandemic throughout this year. Shares are up 25%. That's really on the back of its unprecedented demand for personal protection equipment, or PPP. PPE, sorry, as we all know, um, and unprecedented um, uh, hygiene focus. Now, where, why we believe the rollout of vaccines and the opening up of economies will slow the PPP uptake, it's not gonna fall off the cliff, we believe. And Ansel is secondarily positioned in, in, in industrial verticals as well. So that should actually help that company. So um, net net, Ansel C sits in a very well sweet spot, envious at that. Um, it is a, definitely a beneficiary of the COVID trade, as we have seen, and it is a beneficiary of the COVID exit trade. So let me give you three key reasons why we believe Ansel should be put in people's portfolio. So the first reason is the first half result, stellar, needless to say, um, albeit they did pre-release, pre so there was devoid of any key surprises, which is always good. The top line growth, revenue um, organically up 23%. That is a record for this company. Now you throw in uh, managing uh, management efficiencies as well as manufacturing cost outs. Um, you have looked at underlying earnings up a whopping 65% growth. Um, like I said, it's another record scene. Margins are expanding up 350 basis points to 16%. Now this really fueled a 53% uplift in the dividend and that equates to a 40% payout ratio. Now the second point I'd, I'd, I'd like to make is the outlook was upgraded yet again. Now, this is the third time in as many months. Now, earnings are forecasted to grow at 28 to 30, sorry, 26 to 38 um, percent this fiscal year. Now, while we do flag there is some risks, um, there's risk in raw material increases. We do see some supply demand imbalances, um, and we do see some logistical concerns. We believe the pandemic overall has really strengthened An Ansel's overall portfolio. It's really benefiting from a very broad-based, um, uh, really strengthening uh, um, product uptake, and it's very diversified product mix. Now, the third point I'd like to point out is Ansel has a very secure balance sheet and ample liquidity, um, enough to really fuel its uh, capital management in endeavors, increase the dividend as well as its pay um, uh, share. Sorry, share buybacks, which is just reinstituted as a, actually of, as of today. It also has enough fuel to more or less generate internal growth, and that's through M&A acquisitions where we do see ample opportunities in that regard. So net-net, we like Ansel at these levels. We think the personal protective um, solution space is still in a very good position. Um, I think Ansel is well positioned in that space overall as a leader in its, mar in its key market verticals, either one labeled number one or number two. Um, and looking at our stock price, we have a 25% upside to our price target. The current trading levels look very well, uh, very um, uh, attractive here. Uh, it looks like it's trading at under a market multiple. Its a dividend yield is about 2.6%. Um, it, and it also has putting up earnings growth on a three-year CAGR about 15%. So taken all together, we believe Ansel is very well positioned. We look at the shares at attractively priced current valuations, 25% upside we see to our price target. Shares are trading below a market multiple, given off a dividend yield of 2.6%. And we have a three-year compounded annual growth rate of 15%. So net-net, we believe Ansel is a good addition to Morgan's best ideas list.